Creating and editing expressions will become much easier and simpler in PowerMill 2010 thanks to the introduction of the new Expression Editor toolbar. The new editor will automatically filter and list only the appropriate parameters as soon as we start entering our expression. Alternatively, we can simply click on a field on any form and the parameter name for that field will be automatically copied and pasted into our expression in the expression editor. Identifying existing expressions in, in forms will become much easier as they are now highlighted with a blue border. Let's go through an example of working with expressions and open a project. To begin with, we'll look at viewing the Expression Editor toolbar and identifying expressions on a strategy form. So I'm going to open a raster toolpath that I already have batched. And quite clearly we can see which of the fields on the form contain the expressions as they have the blue border which I mentioned earlier. Now to view the expression for that field, in this case the thickness, I simply right click on the field itself and I get a small menu which allows me then to edit the expression and there we can see the expression toolbar pops up and is, displays the current expression which in this case is the tolerance times 4. So the tolerance is 0 0.01 multiplied by 4 is 0 0.04 and our thickness is 0 0.04. Okay let's take a look at uh, another couple of expressions. Now if the expression editor toolbar is already open then to view a new expression we simply left click with our mouse in the field and there we can see the quite complex expression to work out the step over based upon a combination of the tolerance and the tool diameter. Let's look at one last expression before we move on. This time we're going to look at the lead in move and again you'll notice that the radius is defined using the expression. It has the blue highlighted border and let's click on that field and we can see that the expression is equal to the tool diameter multiplied by 1.5. So let's change our tool diameter. At the moment it's currently 6 millimeters. If we change that to 12 millimeter ball nose, you can see that the leading radius has automatically updated to 1.5 times 12. OK, so we've just seen how to identify easily and quickly expressions on forms and how to bring up the expression editor by right-clicking on a field and choosing Edit Expression. So now we're going to move on and look at creating an expression from scratch. Now we're going to look at an area clearance expression. In particular, we're going to create an expression for the area filter which is now under the unsafe segment removal page and we're going to, in particular we're going to create an expression for the threshold now if I hover my mouse over the field PAML automatically suggests a suitable expression for the threshold and that is equal to the non-cutting diameter divided by the full diameter. OK, so let's click on that field, the left hand mouse button to activate our editor toolbar. And we're going to start by simply deleting the value that's in there. And the first part of our expression is to work out what the flat diameter of the tool is. 
So the flat diameter is basically the tip radius times 2 deducted from the overall diameter. So we need to start by entering the full diameter of the tool. So it makes sense that we start by typing in the word tool. And as soon as we start typing in the word, you can see it lists only the appropriate parameters that start with those letters. So in my case, I'm after the tool, so I'll click on tool. And as soon as I click on tool, it gives me a list of all the parameters that begin with that word tool. So I'm after the tool diameter. And now I need to deduct that from the tip radius, multiplied by 2. So again, it's a part of the tool, so I start entering the word tool and then go down and select tool and then I need the tip radius but this time I need to multiply it by 2 so I just simply put the multiplication symbol and then 2. Now to make sure this expression works correctly I need to use brackets to break up the expression so I want to make sure that I evaluate the tool times the tip radius multiplied by 2 first and then secondly I need to take away the tool tip radius multiplied by 2 from the tool diameter. So that's the first part of our expression. The second part is to divide the answer by the tool diameter. So again, we just simply do a division. Now rather than type in the word tool now to bring up a list of all the parameters, if I'm not sure what the parameter be begins with, what letters the parameter begins with, then I can simply go to the form for the parameter I'm interested in and click on the field. So for example, in this case I need to find the tool diameter again. So I'm going to open the form for the tool and simply click on the tool diameter field and you'll notice it automatically populates my expression with the parameter. Let's just try a different one just so you can see it change. So there you can see it's updated to the tool length when I click on tool length and if I click on number of flutes then it will put the number of flutes in there. So Let's go back to the actual value we need which is the tool diameter. So I'm going to left click in the tool diameter field and close that form. Okay, so that uh, is now our expression complete. To double check to make sure we've got the right uh, equation or right expression, we can simply click on the calculator symbol and that will evaluate the complete expression and give us the answer. So that's the answer we would expect for this diameter tool and this tip radius. So now we can go back to the expression and then simply accept the expression. And you'll notice that the threshold value now has uh, the blue border indicating it is defined with the expression. Now the value that we've uh, calculated for the threshold is the minimum recommended value. Ideally we want the value to be slightly bigger, maybe 10% bigger. So now we're going to edit our expression to include an extra 10% onto the value. So the first thing we need to do is encapsulate the complete expression so far in brackets and then at the end of the expression we're just going to multiply by 1.1 for an extra 10% and we'll double check again to make sure that works, which it does. But one thing you will notice is that the value is now being displayed to five decimal places. Now this is far more accurate than I require for a simple threshold value. So the final thing we're going to do is to round the number of decimal places down to three. 
So again, what I need to do is simply encapsulate the expression so far in brackets and I need to make sure that the cursor is at the beginning of the expression and because I want to round the expression I'm going to start typing in the word round and there you can see it's found a parameter called round and I'm just going to select that parameter make sure I've got the bracket in after the word round and then at the end of the expression I need to put a semicolon followed by the number of decimal places in this case I'm going to use three decimal places followed by a close bracket to finish it off and then if we calculate you can see the value is now limited to three decimal places so last of all we need to accept that again to put to update the expression and save the expression in our area clearance form. Now let's just double check to make sure it works with different size tools. At the moment uh, we're using a 32mm tip radius tool with a 3mm tip. Let's change that to a 26mm tool with a 6mm tip and as we expect the threshold value is reduced dramatically because uh, the tip radius is increased and the overall diameter is reduced. So to summarise, um, the expression, the new expression editor toolbar will make working with expressions much simpler, much easier to do and we no longer need to be able to remember the names of the parameters as the expression editor toolbar will automatically filter the correct parameters for us or we can simply click on any of the fields to find out the parameter names.